By the title of this video, you already know what I'm going to talk about today, the outfit formula. Been around here for a quick minute you know this is one of my favorite things to talk about and you know that i love an outfit formula for a number of reasons the first is that it allows you to get more wear out of your current wardrobe without getting bored and the second is that it really allows you to hone your personal style figure out what you like what your style vibe is the beauty about these outfit formulas that i put together is that they're very general or i've tried to keep them as general as possible so that you can really personalize them depending on which elements of style appeal to you most and like what kind of styling tweaks you like to work with when you're putting your outfit together. This first formula is a really basic one, dress and a really functional shoe. So that's just the base. Accessories, style and type of dress is gonna be totally up to you. What I seem to be seeing a lot here is that the shoes do have a bigger, heftier profile, which is nice because it kind of grounds the movement and flowiness of a more romantic dress. However, if you've got something that is tight fitted or if you're someone who likes more of like a really figure flattering or like more fitted dress, I would keep the footwear more of a minimal profile than something really hefty and chunky. But again, that's just my personal preference. Oftentimes what makes a dress really interesting is either the neckline or the silhouette or the print. So if you've got a dress that has two or three interesting elements already, whether it's a print or a dramatic silhouette, I think you wanna to tend to keep everything else really simple and understated. Whereas if your dress is really basic, say for example, a cotton t-shirt dress, then you can go heavier on the accessories, like a hat, maybe a really cool light necklace, and you can go a little bit more wild on the footwear. This next outfit formula is less about the individual garments and more about an element of style, which is the texture of a fabric, head to toe linen. I don't think I've mentioned this outfit formula before for the summer, but it keeps you so cool. And what I like about this outfit formula is that it really allows you to personalize. So if you're someone who prefers dresses and skirts and more romantic things, go ahead, wear it head to toe. What I've done with head to toe linen is I've got a pair of these more like a jogger silhouette pants. So when I'm wearing these, I tend to dress up the rest of the linen outfit Fit with my linen button up shirt. And what I really like to do is give it a little bit of a tie or wear it a little bit differently than just loose over the pants. Especially when it comes to linen, often these garments don't have too much tailoring and don't have too much shape. So I think it's important to manipulate this outfit formula a lot in terms of styling tweaks. Something as simple as cuffing a shirt, tying it, or giving your pants a little cuff. I think head to toe linen is a really good day outfit formula because it does keep you so cool and when night rolls around it's kind of nice to wear any pieces that are a little bit heavier so that you can change up your wardrobe a little bit but if you are wearing head to toe linen from day into night all that's required is a swap of the footwear linen is a really beautiful fabric that looks really rich especially if you wear it in similar tones or if you've got a head to toe color I think it's really chic and just you know swap out the accessories for a little bit of day to night styling super easy. This next one, probably one that I see worn very, very often, and that is a skirt, a simple tank or t-shirt, and functional shoes. In my opinion, because the skirt is nice and flowy, I've really been loving sandals with this outfit formula, but a couple of styling elements that you can do to make this outfit feel a little less basic is playing around with the textures. I think so many of us have slip skirts of some sort in our closet, or maybe it's even a slip dress that you could convert into a skirt, but that nice nice silky satiny texture is really pretty when you have a little bit of tension with a knit top. So rather than going maybe for something like a regular cotton top, I think if you can add a little bit of texture like ribbing or even a very light knit with this fabric can create a lot of nice style tension and a lot of interest without having to feel too fussy or overdressed. I've accessorized this outfit formula really simply. I think this is such a great like running around for errands, grabbing a coffee, kind of outfit, a little bit more casual, great for, you know, seeing sites or doing little market runs, that kind of thing. So I would accessorize this with a really great hat, 
good pair of sunnies as always, and a bag that feels perhaps a little bit more functional as well. Something that you can throw a lot of stuff in. Okay, so this next one I'm kind of cheating a bit because I don't have the exact, exact example, but it is a pair of wide leg trousers and a blouse or crop top of some sort. This is a really great one because the base is so incredibly versatile. I think it's probably one of the most versatile outfit formulas because with a swap of shoes, with a change of styling of the shirt, you can really take it to any occasion. So the first, because these trousers are so wide and voluminous and high-waisted, they're covering a lot. I tend to want to balance out the top by showing a little bit of skin. So the first way I would wear this is by tying a knot in the midriff, perhaps a little bit more risque than normal. I wouldn't just tie a knot at the bottom. I would raise it a little bit, pull it through my bra or my bathing suit, whatever I'm wearing that day, so that I've got a deeper V and a higher crop. But because I'm showing so much skin there, I would actually leave the sleeves a little bit long. That way I'm covering more skin on my arms. It's all about the balance. The other way I would style this is like, it's a really good like beach club look, especially if you've got a really easy flat sandal to go with them. I would just wear the shirt open over your bikini top, or if you've got a one piece swimsuit, wearing a shirt just open over your one piece can look really cool as well. I think this is a really nice outfit formula because it works for most body types. The button up shirt, of course, doesn't have to be a button up shirt. This could be a nice like tunic, a beautiful long tunic top. What it does when you wear it open, especially even open over a bodysuit or a swimsuit, say like over a one piece swimsuit, for example, is that it just creates these beautiful long columns. And if you've got a blouse or a button up in a really nice light linen or cotton fabric, then you're getting so much beautiful airflow and coolness. I just think it's a nice one. This last outfit formula is more about elements of style coming together versus actual garments. And that is something very fancy and romantic with something very casual and maybe a little bit edgy. It's okay if you don't have these style personalities in your closet. I think the point of this outfit formula is to really take your opposite ends of your closet and put them together and see what happens. So what I've done here as an example, because this can be a little bit more abstract in terms of thinking, is a really romantic vintage blouse with my denim cutoffs. I like wearing denim cutoffs. I know they feel very, maybe a little bit touristy, but I've seen this outfit styled so often here, particularly in, in Shibanek at least, and split like something like a denim, really casual, with something really beautiful and feminine and romantic on top. The shoe is what kind of sways the outfit one way or another. You don't necessarily always have to work with separates for this formula. It's really just thinking about bringing together parts of your closet that maybe you would never have considered and seeing the outcome. Just remember, because there is so much of a clash already in those two elements of style, I would keep the rest of the look pretty neutral and basic. So for example here, I've kept it pretty neutral with my nude sandals, simple pair of sunnies, and I've kept the accessories to a minimum. That is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you are still here, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, or let me know which your favorite outfit formula was in the comments below. If you have a favorite hot weather travel outfit formula that is like a go-to all the time for you, share it in the comments. We love learning from you as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will be back with another slow fashion video. Ciao.